Welcome to my talk Playful Learning and Assessment with KMAP using JSX Graph and Shadow DOM. Thanks for your interest. The first part will be a short introduction to KMAP, what it's all about, and the second part will give you some technical insights about the integration. So why yet another math learning platform, you may ask? Well, most platforms out there are commercial. They require you to pay a fee or annoy you with advertisements. There is no fee and no advertisements in KMAP. The whole content is Creative Commons, so it's a truly open educational resource. The main emphasis of KMAP is clarity about the relations of mathematical subjects and, on the other hand, playful learning with interactive elements. In KMAP, um, there are two kinds of relations between the subjects. One is consists of, the other one is depends on. I'll show you that. Um, here. Um, this is the starting page of KMAP. You see three subjects, biotechnologies, math and physics. I'll dive into math. What you see here is a so-called knowledge map with a couple of knowledge cards and each of these cards leads to another knowledge map. I click on this one. So again a knowledge map with a couple of knowledge cards. So. This is a knowledge card, another one, so and this one again leads down to another knowledge map and so on. I go back uh, one level up. And well, um, inside a knowledge map you can see the, the dependencies between the cards. Like if I hover on this card, I can see that it depends on four other cards. This one depends on three other cards and so on. Next I'll show you some examples for playful learning. Um, like this one, optimization problem. You see here is a tent and we like to maximize the volume of the tent and we can variate the, the edge of the base. Um, and as you can see the blue graph is the volume, the green graph is the height, um, and the red line is the length of this edge. And um, somewhere here is the, the maximum. Another one, differentiability, approach from the left to the kink. So at the kink there is no slope defined, approach from the right, same thing. Third one, um, the central limit theorem, rolling one dice, there you have uh, um, equal distribution, um, two dice, three dice, and so on. The more dice you roll, the more um, this distribution um, looks like a Gaussian bell. Another one using uh, JSX graph is this one here. Um, then you can arrange the points and then there is the linear equation shown. Well, and of course, there is interactive uh, assessments in KMAP. I show you some different types. First is drag and drop assignment. Well, one was right, next one was wrong. This is the correct answer. Um, fill in by amounts of drag and drop. So, This one is about equation solving strategies. Divide through x to the power of 2 is not a good idea. Subtract 4 times x to the power of 2 is a better idea, and so on. Well, and this one using JSX graph. Now you have, um, there, there's a linear equation given and you have to 
arrange the point so that um, it matches the, the equation. So this is wrong. And this is the correct answer. How is the integration of JSX graph and KMF actually accomplished? Um, there is two variants. Um, the first variant is uh, used by knowledge cards. Um, there it's just HTML files um, that are uh, embedded by methods of iframes, just like other attachments like pictures and uh, PDFs and videos and the like. And well, it's uh, well suited for this purpose because you can even use the uh, lazy loading optimization. So this is the, the easy variant. The other variant is for interactive assessment uh, tasks. Um, therefore, an iframe is not suitable because um, there has to be an interface between KMAP and the uh, component. And this cannot be accomplished um, with iframes. There are some special characteristics you have to know about web components um, if you deal with them. Um, because web components have their own document fragment, their own document object model. This means um, element IDs are local to the document fragment, local to the web component, and also the styles are local to the web component. Um, for example, if you want to get a reference to an element, um, normally you would uh, call a document get element by ID. This uh, won't work inside uh, a web component. Then you have to start from the shadow root and call shadow root get element by ID. Um, styles are also local to the component. So if you need styles, a style sheet inside a component, you have to load it inside the component and it will not leak uh, to the DOM out, uh, out, out of the outside the component. Um, next thing is um, if you are iterating uh, parent node by parent node to the, to the top, this will also end at the shadow root. If you want to continue outside uh, the web component, you have to um, uh, go on with host parent node. Uh, the host is the is the element um, from from the from the view, from point of view of the embedding um, document. So parent node parent node maybe then host uh, parent node parent node parent node and again host. So then you will <laughs> finally you will get up to the to the top. Um, support for um, web components, especially Shadow DOM, is uh, implemented in JSX graphs since version 1.4.4. So what I did in order to integrate JSX graph as a web component into KMAP, I created a simple uh, web component called KMAP JSX graph. This is the tag name KMAP JSX graph. Um, if you want to use it, it's uh, quite simple. You just have to import um, the component um, and then you can use it like um, regular elements. Uh, it expects two slot elements. The first one is uh, in the attributes slot. There you provide um, the attributes for initialization of the board. And the second one, well, it's a script uh, where you build up your uh, JSX graph components. I can show you uh, this in action. What you see here is the, the same code um, inside an HTML page uh, in my ID. I can open this in the browser. There you are. So. Now let's make some modifications, like maybe add another function graph. Well, there you are. So far, there's not a big advantage um, of using JSX graph inside a web component. Uh, over just using it in, uh, inside a plain HTML uh, page directly. 
What we gain here is the possibility uh, to add functionality, like the component can uh, implement an interface. In this case, it's the interface exercise from KMIP, which is uh, required to be implemented by uh, assessment components with four methods in it. Bark is valid and show the answer. Um, well, just write the same code and uh, implement these methods some, somehow. Last but not least, I'd like to show you um, implementation details of the KMAP JSX graph component. As you can see here, uh, the component extends lit element. Lit element uh, is a thin layer on top of web components. If you plan to uh, work with web components, you should definitely have a look at lit element, which makes uh, dealing writing web components quite comfortable. So well then. What we have here is default attributes for port initialization. We have a, a link to the shadow root. We have a member for the board. This is for additional styles. Um, and then there is uh, the first um, first update. It's a life lifecycle method which is called immediately immediately after the component has been instantiated. What it does is uh, it reads uh, the, the slot element attributes, then initializes the board, then reads the slot element script, calls the script, and then um, reads the slot element styles, which is optional, and stores them. Another lifecycle method is um, the render method, which renders the, the local, the, the, the shadow DOM with optional styles, if there are any, with um, the diff with ID box for, for JSX graph um, board, and well, the three slots, attributes, script, and styles. So that was my talk about KMAP and its JSX graph integration. I hope you liked it. Feel free to contact me if you want to know more about KMAP or web components or if you maybe have ideas for improvements. Thank you and goodbye.